Hey guys, does PHP have messy syntax? Short answer is no. There you go, end of video. All right, so old PHP, we're talking PHP 3, PHP 4. Yeah, it was a little discombobulated. It had some messy syntax. Let me hit the brightness here, hold on. Bloody lighting, there we go. Um, that's what happens when you use natural light. Okay, so does PHP have messy syntax? Not anymore. You know, old PHP did, but so did old JavaScript, so did old Java. Well, to a lesser extent, old Java, but there are a lot of things that you can find in old iterations of languages and technologies that weren't favorable. The strange thing about PHP, it's kind of like, at least for some people, it's sort of stuck with it. Ooh, PHP has missy syntax, or PHP is, uh, is, is, is inconsistent, or is, is prone to, uh, to hacking. Uh, all these things are no longer true. The biggest problem that PHP had in its day was not so much the language, it was the fact that PHP was very approachable, so a lot of people who did not have a comp sci background, who did not have proper training in software development, jumped into writing PHP code. So a lot of, frankly, crappy code was written. But this was not a fault of PHP, per se. It was just a group of people who were writing the code. So PHP's accessibility, how easy it was to approach, was also one of its Achilles, it was its Achilles heel in the sense that it was easy to learn, it was easy to jump into. But now, that's one of its greatest strengths. Why do you think, in terms of server-side programming languages, go look up the stats, PHP is king. There are more websites running PHP and then there are websites running Java or Python or C Sharp or pick any language or JavaScript. In terms of server side, let me emphasize server side programming, PHP is king and it will remain so. So, another myth that's out there about PHP is that PHP cannot scale, cannot be used to build big applications. Again, that's total BS. You got Facebook. You know, that's one example. I have my friends at uh, Paper, they use PHP, they got a huge number of users. So don't let the myths of, uh, or what PHP once was, influence you in terms of what it is today. One of the key things that business owners look at when they're looking at technologies is how easy it is to get people up and running in the technology, number one. Number two, uh, how, you know, uh, you know, how many people are out there who can do the work, right? So one of the worst things you can do as a business owner is to pick some rare technology that not too many people use, where you're going to have trouble finding replacement employees, people to maintain or build upon a code base. That's a terrible thing to be, place to be. So PHP... It's so widely used that it's never gonna go away. Final point, two points. Number one, uh, PHP uh, jobs, just because there's a lot of coders doesn't mean PHP pays less. It actually pays just as much as anything else. It all comes down to experience in terms of what you make and not uh, the technology you happen to be coding in at the time. All right, I forget my second point. So there you go, that's it. I hope this is useful. Ciao.